Hey everyone, Eric here from LabFix. Back at it. We got something always fun to talk about. It's that time of the year. People like to call it Techtober. I like to call that as well because you got a lot of new devices coming out. You got a lot of new MacBooks. You got new phones. You got everything pretty much coming out for this time of the year. So it could go on sale and then they dumped all the old stuff for, for Black Friday. That's usually how it works. Maybe you get some good deals every now and then on some newer stuff as well looks like this year is a little bit different though maybe they're trying to go for more of the whole month instead of more of the black friday but it's besides the point what the video here is about we want to talk about the new mac os this is the mac os ventura and we're going to be showing you guys a few cool little things for it uh, what we like to do especially as a tech shop this is an important time for us to be getting uh this type of it's always important for us to stay on top of this especially if there's a new os coming out and we want to show you guys some interesting things that we even do for tech shop as well um, so this is a good video for it. I've made lots of videos. I make this one almost every single year I talk about how to make like the bootable installers and Or if you want to call it just a recovery disk, it's always a good thing to do that as well I've been doing them less and less I haven't been well I've been doing less and less but I've been getting less excited about every year because most of the time you just use command R Right, and then you can boot up to a recovery mode. You can do that but there's sometimes where maybe the server um, isn't really active or especially if there's an unsupported OS maybe in the future you always want to create a bootable one and this is the, really the time to be doing that um, in case maybe something isn't supported in the future maybe a few years from now um, you always want to have recovery disk available because you don't want to rely on Apple servers or anything uh, going on with that so you always want to make sure that you have some type of recovery disk and the way to do that is you would want to do it right now before you do an upgrade because that's the opportunity you get the actual official application and you get um, you get the freshest install that you possibly can, uh, give or take, you know, it's the first one to come out. It's the first major release to come out for it. So it would be the 0.0, I believe it's what 13.0. And this is the Mac OS 13.0. Sometimes it might be a little bit good, especially if you're going to be uh, watching this video, even in the future, uh, this would be a good time to really do it as well. Uh, maybe you're beginning a few updates, uh, to, to eliminate any bugs or fixes that they do. They sometimes they do day ones, but this is about a few days after that. So hopefully if, if there is an update, we'll be getting that one as well. We'll get in the download. Um, that's what you really want to do, especially if you're making this future, you're going to get an even better build of this one. Now it's out of beta and it officially came out it's a little bit earlier this week, but obviously we want to, we never want to put it on, on new machines. We don't really like to be putting it on um, new customers machines because of the reason is it's just such a new OS. Um, they want to, you want to fix all the bugs and everything else going with that. And usually you get updates anyway, after you install the OS there, we don't like to be putting unless they're by special request, but we always like to let people know, we always like to put on the latest one, but, or the last latest one that has the most stability for it, which would be uh, Mac OS Monterey. So that's what we like to do first because that one has many updates. It's been out for about a year now anyway. And then we like to put out, um, then we like to upgrade if you want to do in the future we always like to recommend just waiting a few months just to make sure i know some people are a little bit excited about features i'm not really gonna be talking a whole lot about features in this video i just want to show you guys um at least compatibility list we'll go through that real quick i'll show you guys on a mac and actually it's probably a better thing let's just we'll continue to talk about that but before you get started um we always want to say if you want to be making if you want to be just following this video and you want to actually be making one yourself um, usually what you're going to be needing is obviously you're going to need a usb it fluct it could fluctuate a little bit try to get at least a 16 gig uh, usb because i know at least the installer um, from what I understand is about 12 gigs anyway so you want that i have a 64 gig right now as a 64 gig uh, usb here uh, you might want to even get a USB C USB if you don't have that already or you can use the the well introduced dongle that's been going on since 2016 let's get into it uh, again if you're gonna follow along try to have a USB C dongle and a USB here all right so what you want to do is go to App Store you're gonna check it there um, I think App Store what it's gonna do is it's gonna find the application itself that's what you want to do because that's what we want to get here uh, you may be able to go through the settings there, but I know we've had some problems with that before. So let's just hit get and see what it's going to do. It's going to come up. It's going to be find the update. So you see here, if you now, uh, it's going to ask to download it here. So I'm going to hit not now because I'm going to show you guys something. If you do it from here, it's just going to upgrade directly. And you don't want to be doing that, especially if you're going to be making a bootable installer. If you don't care about that, it's not going to be a big deal because it's just going to do an upgrade for you and it'll do it on the spot. But if you want the installer, what you need to do is you need to go to the app store this is very important you need to go to app store and hit get and then what it's going to do is it's like oh look you can download the mac os ventura 13.0 so let's do that so let's download it and now it's going to download this 12 gig file from before 
and then we're going to be able to have it in our application. So we're going to wait for a little bit. Man, I hope it doesn't take 52 minutes, man. You can see the internet's going pretty fast, but it shouldn't take that long. But we'll be right back. I'll skip forward, and we'll go from there. So it's finished here, and what we want to do is we don't want to hit continue yet. If you want to upgrade it, obviously, just go ahead and do that, but that's not why we're trying to make this video, right? So we can actually just cancel out of it for now. I'm going to quit and we can close this now and what you want to do is you want to actually see to see if it's going to be here so we can go to our applications and we see that there is an install mac os ventura here available which is good that means this is what we need, really need we need the installer for it so um, now you can create your bootable name whatever you want to call it i called my uh, usb already if you just want to wipe it you can do that i already called it just mac os ventura installer we're making this uh video obviously I want to call it that because I just like it. You guys can call it whatever you want because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So we also see it in our applications in our finder here. Now what we want to do is we want to create the installer, right? So you can actually hit the launch pad here and we can go to usually other or wherever you put it or you can search for it too. We want to go to terminal because terminal is what's important. And it's very similar if you watch our other ones that we made even like a year ago. It's pretty much the same type of process there. Uh, under applications we see Mac OS um, well, we see install macOS Ventura, and what we want to do is we want to just right click it or double tap pad, however <laughs> you want to say it. We want to hit show package contents here, and what that's going to do is that's going to show um, the data that's actually inside here. So uh, we want to hit contents, and then we want to go to resources, and now it's as you see create install media here. So we want to have that up, and we want to hit create install media, but always what you want to do is you want to put sudo, and then you want to hit space or sudo in the terminal here, you want to hit space, and then you want to just drag, let's just make it easy for ourselves, right? Uh, man, hold and click, uh, don't get me started. Uh, there we go, okay. So you want to do that here. Be what that's going to do is drag and drop is going to avoid typing everything. You're going to have the exact path of where it's been made there. Now after that, after we already have the path here, uh, we want to hit dash dash, and then volume, and then we want to hit another space again, and then we just want to, this is going to be the same thing, so we're going to just be dragging this back into here, it's going to show you exactly where it goes. And now it's going to be showing you um, the path, so whatever you called it doesn't really matter, uh, you just need to copy and paste that, so, or at least not copy and paste, you don't have to copy and paste, that's why it's the point in the first place. So now we have the installer here, and we want to hit return, and it's going to ask for password. Now, I know a lot of times if you don't have a password, you might have to create a password first to do that. And after you type in your password, you can hit return. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask to erase the volume. And again, this is going to delete everything that's on there. So make sure you use a blank USB uh, before you use this because this will be your recovery USB, obviously, or bootable installer, however you want to call it. So I'm going to be doing that, and it's going to be erasing. And it's going to take its time. We'll just fast forward it. Um, oh, it's, ask, it's asking me if I want to access the file, so I want to hit OK, because you just want to give it access to it. It's good. It's pretty secure. It asks you a lot of things, especially if something's been in the way for it. Um, but this Now it's making the disk bootable. And that, that's going to be really important, too, when we turn on for the first time for a computer. You can make it for a regular one, but we'll, discover, we'll just discuss that after it's done. So let's let it finish, and then we'll discuss that a little bit after. So we'll go from there. It completed. It even says it's now available. Um, here it looks like it remade the name anyway, so I guess it didn't <laughs> didn't matter. I don't think I remember that from last time anyway, but it did change the name of it. It says install Mac OS Ventura. So if I double click it, let's see if it comes up, which it should, which you should see the the main installer there for it. Yeah, install Mac OS Ventura. If you guys just want to do the upgrade, just do the upgrade through here. You can do that, um, and you already do have your Mac OS Ventura installer. If you want to see how to do a, a clean install, stay tuned for that. Otherwise, you can just skip ahead towards the end of the video. Or that's really about it. <laughs> if you just want to end it there, that's pretty much how you just make it. You have a bootable backup as well as the main Ventura app here. Okay, so congrats. Uh, you made your bootable USB. Now we're going to plug it in. Probably need a USB-C dongle. Now again, guys, this step is going to erase all the data. It's going to be a clean install. So uh, back up your data, or if you don't care about your data, then continue. So let's plug it in. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold down, excuse the autofocus, I don't know why, it does this all the time when I do it. Now you want to hold this option key at the bottom here. 
whenever you turn it on hold option see that uh, option key and now what that's going to do is that's going to get you to a boot menu here and now we see the beautiful install Mac OS Ventura here so let's go ahead and we're going to click that it's going to load up okay guys so uh, again if you want to upgrade you can just do the upgrade that's totally fine you can just hit install Mac OS Ventura if you want to do a clean install, which I'm going to be showing you that way because that's the way most people are going to be doing it anyway that want to do it, you're going to want to definitely go that way. Now for these ones, I know a lot of times, especially on macOS Monterey, that you do have to connect to internet. So make sure you go in the corner here and you connect to your internet connection. Do we want to go to disk utility then? Uh, sometimes too, if you do have a password or if you do have an activation lock or you have something else, um, you may need to do one of these few things you may need to put in a password first or you might want it to, to go into utilities hit startup uh, security utility and if you have like a firmware lock or anything else you can actually do um, uh, you can remove it from here but if you're probably at this one you probably don't care too much but we want to go into disk utility now and what we're going to be doing is we're getting this screen here so it's right the disk utility here we want to go click this over here what this is going to be doing it's going to be showing all devices which is going to be showing the hierarchy of your SSD and you want to just click, usually it's going to say something like this, Mac, uh, Apple SSD, especially if you're doing any of these, if it's a 2017 or anything else that you're doing, you're going to be doing this anyway. Um, it's going to say Mac S or Apple SSD um, in the first place. So this is a 256 gig model. And what we want to do is we want to hit uh, erase. And again, this is going to erase all the data on here. So if you don't care about your data, uh, definitely uh, just keep going otherwise please back it up first before you do this because this will do that you want to leave it in the format that it has which is APFS GUID partition map you can call it anything you want I'm just gonna call it um, Mac OS so creative you know whatever you guys what, what do you guys name yours actually leave it down below I'm curious to see what you guys do you guys leave it like untitled do you guys put Mac OS what do you guys put it so after that then you can hit erase and now this is going to wipe everything. This is going to be a nice clean install. It's going to be like when you bought it from Mac for the first time. Uh, it's going to clean it up very nice. Oh, that you guys don't like that. There we go. I should center it. Sorry for triggering some people there. <laughs> but now it's going to be doing it. It's going to take a sweet old time. And you can even hit show details to see if you want to do it. But oh, it's already done. So now there's no data that's on the Mac itself there. There's no password, nothing else. Everything's been wiped. So now... So now what we want to do is we want to go up to disk utility. We want to hit quit disk utility because now we have a clean um, Mac OS or not clean Mac OS. We have a clean hard drive. So now I want to hit install Mac OS Ventura. And you get this really nice splash screen, which you do for all the Macs. It's really nice as well. We're going to hit continue. We're going to hit agree. Agree. Sign your life away. Now, uh, we're going to say partitions here. This is the one that you want to do. Is you want to do the one that you just created there. And we have our SSD there. Uh, the other one would just be our bootable installer. If you have other drives as well, just make sure you unplug other stuff uh, before you do this too. You don't want to be overwriting or erasing any drives. And uh, we're going to click this one over here. And then we're going to hit continue. Um, if for somehow, uh, I know for, um, before you actually do that, I know some... OS's if you do like um, from Big Sur on I wasn't actually able to put this on like a USB to have a to actually have like a test installer I wasn't able to do that with the older ones I'm gonna try it for the newer ones if I do if I'm able to do this like in this format I'll make another video on it and you guys stay tuned for that otherwise if if I don't make a video soon after this one then you know <laughs> it didn't work so then I won't make a video about it but um, it works for the ones if you have like high sear if you have other ones like um, Monterey didn't work. I know Big Sur didn't work because I think it's doing hardware checks and that's why it's not doing it. it's realizing you're putting it on a USB and not through an SSD. That's my guess, but who knows? But anyways, uh, we're going to hit continue and now it's going to install and after that we should have a clean Mac OS. Okay, and once you get that uh, downloaded, everything looks to be pretty solid, uh, looks to be good and then we just hit continue from there. So, okay, and that's about it. Anyways, so anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on uh, making an installer, recovery disk, whatever you want to call it, and a clean install Mac OS Ventura. If you like this video, please leave a like, but this helps a lot. Subscribe for more content. What do you guys think? Have you guys tried it yet? Uh, let me know your thoughts actually below. I'm actually really interested to see what's going on. I'm glad we're putting it on a laptop that we have here. It's going to be pretty cool. So uh, let me know what you know, what you guys, what's your favorite feature on Mac OS Ventura down below. Just let me know. I'm really curious to see. I uh, always love trying the new OS, especially when they come out. They just recently came out of beta too, so it's really exciting there too. And thanks a lot. Take care, guys. Bye.